In order to use affordable and durable large fire plugs, this open-air small workshop in Pakistan is preparing to use a large amount of scrap iron to melt and cast. Although they do not have professional production equipment, the finished products they create also meet the requirements of use. And this is a sand casting workshop in Peshawar. In order to create a piston mold, they will first mix waste oil with sand to form a sticky yarn, then fill the wooden sandbox with sand, and compact the interior manually to prevent hollow bones from appearing inside the sand. When the oil is used for neutralization, the separation of the sand box will not cause any cracking. Although the piston mold is now fully formed, the mold hardness at this time does not meet the requirements. In order to avoid cracking when the molten iron is poured out, as soon as it is put into the oven, the main purpose is to use firewood to bake at high temperature. The moisture of the sand casting mold can be dried, and the purpose of curing the mold can be achieved. After a night of high temperature baking, a batch of molds have past. Considering that the inner wall of the sand mold is very rough, Fu will brush a layer of curing agent. It can make the interior smooth and flat and prevent the cracking and damage of the floating edge. After confirmation, the formed sand core is placed inside. This ensures that the piston of the rubber column is hollow. The amount of molten iron required for the piston is large. When the pressure is generated inside the rubber column stone, the masters will also use bolts to tighten and fix it to prevent the rubber column stone mold from exploding. Then use yellow mud to fill the gap. The sealing of the inside can prevent the leakage of molten iron. Bolt fixing alone cannot support each side. Under the premise of completely avoiding safety accidents, the mold will also be placed in the sand pit to provide support for each side of the mold. In this way, the production of the piston mold is completed. Their small workshop saves the cost of making. Use recycled scrap iron as raw material. This will not only not reduce the quality of the piston, but also reduce the cost, which will only make the piston more cost effective. Then the scrap iron is thrown into the melting furnace manually. After being heated, at high temperature for up to one hour, the scrap iron quickly turns into molten iron. Then the molten iron is poured back through the rubber bag. When the molten iron on the other side is flush with the observation port, it means that the molten iron in the mold is sufficient. After waiting for the temperature to drop overnight, they can use their high-end air control to take out a set of pistons from the sand pit. The high temperature of the molten iron will turn the mold into a hard block. After the mold is formed, it is necessary to use a hammer to continuously hit it. The sand can be completely removed. Although the piston piston has taken shape, the surface is not accurate at all. In order to make it work in the engine, the master must first compare the data of the finished piston. The fur piston surface is continuously cut and processed to ensure smoothness. The groove of the plug ring cannot be exactly the same. The accuracy determines whether the piston can be used. The master compares it with a large piston ring. The groove on the surface is also processed quickly and qualified. The piston cast with scrap iron is completed. Are you satisfied with the finished product?